Watch the recording. School not any time soon. Maybe September, but we don't uh, have an exact date yet. Waiting for government's decision, but approx September we can assume, as of the recent news, which we have got. But nothing sure yet. Maybe before that, or maybe after that. Okay, sir. Sir. Okay, so yes. Sir, this PDF uh, of a uh, that camp no. Camp grammar. No, this PDF. This is my PDF. I have made this. Okay. Okay. Explanation of figures of speech you will get from anywhere. Yes, sir. I found it in camp part one through the report. Yes, but it is uh, not that easy. They have given in short. And that examples, if I try to explain, you know, some of the examples you will not understand because some are difficult. Yes. So first, I am taking the basic examples of figures of speech, which even eighth standard student can understand. Okay. Then we will read the examples okay. from your camp. And you know what? Figures of speech are always asked from the poems, not from the lessons. Yes. Only poems have figures of speech. Yes, some of the lessons sentences are used, but figures of speech means poem, not lesson. Ninety-nine percent poem. Yes, actually hundred percent. But some sentences from the lessons are taken sometimes. Now, okay. first of all, you should be clear with the topic's name, figure, figures of speech. What is figure of speech, and why is it needed? Why should we learn this? So the first example given: He ran fast. He ran like a cheetah. Both the sentences have the same meaning, but second sentence and the first sentence. What is the difference? Which one is more effective? Which one do you like? Number two. Yes, because it clearly makes your imagination powerful. You can imagine the boy running like a cheetah at a great speed. You just say he ran fast. It's not so in so much interesting, and you cannot imagine the boy running so fast. But the second sentence makes you imagine. So we decorated the sentence, like how we decorate the dish, the food that we eat. Sometimes yeah, we decorate it. Like yes, we decorate it, right? With yeah. all the ingredients. So it when you keep it in front of a person, yes, that person will uh, feel. Even more hungry than he is. So same is the work of figure of figures of speech. It will add salt. It will, uh, you know, uh, add all the ingredients, spices in the language. That is the work of this topic, figures of speech. It will present the same thing, but in a different way. See, I have presented the same thing. He ran fast. He ran like a chit. The same thing in a different way. In in a more effective way. So you know I are we learning this topic now. First one you have already learned in eighth standard, right? Simile. Yes. The easiest one. What is simile? Simile is used for comparison. Remember this word comparison. It compares one thing to another thing. But both the things are of different kind. Both the different things, but one similarity is there in between uh, these two things. And how will you identify simile with these words, like or as? When two things are compared, either this word is used like or this word is used as for comparison. And with these words, you can easily mark the answer in MCQ that it is Sir, a similarity. Sir, can I give an example? And, yes. He ran fast as a cheetah. Yes, same. That is simile. And the same yes. sentence we can say, he ran fast like a chitta. Yes. Uh, see, whose idea is this? Hamza Chauhan. It's a new student. What's his name? We don't know. What's your name? Uh, this new student, who is who has written hi, Mustafa. See, uh, please stop chatting. Sakib also. Except for your name. 
in okay, doubt sir. you cannot type anything else okay uh, which school are you from yes i'm asking you what's your name that this new student he is not uh, the rising is nervous hmm yes no problem sir so you already gave an example simile is the easiest the first figure of speech which you already learned in 8th here is the example the moon shone like the moon shone bright like a diamond in the sky so here which word is used the keyword is like like many many examples are there see the girl's eyes were as black as coal sir yes sir when we uh, take simile as s so we have to write uh, two s in sentence or we can write one s also see if you write two s then also it is okay but what i am telling you is you will not make sentences the figures of speech you know why students like it because figures of speech is always asked in mcq form always whether it is 8 9 10th 11 12th always it is in mcq form okay so you will have four options you just have to mark the correct figures figure of speech in total how many are there i hope you know 26 yes the previous year i had given a brief introduction so when you are writing as dash s in between there will be one adjective yes positive degree as black as as white as as good as as nice as, as, as etc yes so this is also example of simile then in the battle he fought bravely like a lion again the word is given like like that man or that soldier is compared with a lion his bravery his strength is compared of that with a lion so i hope there is no doubt in simile is there any no sir when i teach you all the 26 you know Uh, some of the figures of speech are there you can say four or five that will be confusing the rest 21 are easy 21 yes but four or five will be confusing but that you will get better with practice when we are reading the poem right like, like we read the first poem the road not taken so we will read that poem again and in which line which figure of speech is there that i will tell you it is also already there in the camp today you will uh, have to read that after you understand this okay sir now second is metaphor so metaphor is also very much same like simile but metaphor does not use the word like or as in metaphor we do not use the word like or as so without like or as when we compare two things without using like or as is our word it is there. called yes it is called metaphor see it says that two things are similar comparison of two different things using these words is our was were and the most important thing like or as is not used is in here. this yes yes it is not used sir see yes what we have to write in english fair book of uh, grammar in english fair book you will just write question answers of the chapters no sir you said now we have to, uh, you will give some uh, grammar topics and then we have to write yes in grammar part you will write that in the part which you have allotted yes, for sir, grammar yes we have to write this now i am asking yes the pdfs i will be sending okay. and i will also mention it below that this is to okay. be written in grammar fair book means i will mention that this is to be written uh, in the grammar part okay okay say example she is a walking dictionary how can she be a walking dictionary what does this mean she knows everything yes uh, you can say that she has good knowledge of uh, words vocabulary she knows many words mostly all the words that she does not have to search it or open the dictionary for the meaning 
But here, is there a comparison? Yes, I am comparing the girl with the dictionary. I am comparing her knowledge actually. But here, I am not using like or as. It is indirect comparison. I am directly saying, I am directly giving her the name of walking dictionary. So here, the word I have used, that is, is. She is a walking dictionary. Directly, the girl is compared to the dictionary. And what is the similarity between them? The knowledge. So this is metaphor. Yes. Comparison. Then see, the boy was a fish in the water. Now, how can a boy be a fish? Sir, the fish was male. See, here I am comparing the swimming. Like a fish. Yes, the swimming ability. That he was such yeah. a good swimmer. Like the fish swims in water so quickly, so smoothly. Same way the boy was swimming. So here the word used is again was for comparison, not like or as. Yes. Directly I am calling him a fish. So next, my favorite, one of my favorite metaphors. Life Everyone is one big roller coaster ride. Have you ever uh, been, have you ever uh, had a ride? On this, no. But you might have seen people having read on this. Yes, sir, in TV. It's not in real. No, sir. Hmm? Not in real. So here are two things which are compared: life and ride. Yes. What is the point of similarity? Why are these two things compared? You know, it has a deep meaning. See, is to roller coaster ride. Life. Yes, roller coaster ride. As long as roller coaster ride. Okay, but what is my point of view is roller coaster ride has has also got ups and downs, twists and turns, and people who are sitting in the ride on yeah, the ride, yes, it is up to them whether to scream or to have fun. Some people will scream and some people will have fun while yes. on the ride. Same way in the life, there are ups and downs, twists and turns. It is up to us whether we should feel sad or should we feel happy. It is up to us whether to scream or to enjoy the life as it is. Yes. So it has a deep meaning, this sentence. Yes, like a thought. Yes, like a thought. So this is also an example of which figure of speech? Is. Metaphor. Metaphor. So simile means comparison with like or as. Metaphor means indirect These comparison without. Yes. Indirect comparison. Uh, sorry, the third one is missed over here because while typing I missed the third one. So that will take later on. Right now we are going to the fourth one directly after the second that is apostrophe. Now, apostrophe, you know already one apostrophe. This apostrophe. Apostrophe S. Yes. Right? But this is not that apostrophe, remember. That is also called apostrophe. But this is a figure of speech. Yes. This apostrophe means what? Speaking to an object, a thing, or an item, or to a person that is not alive. As if, in fact, alive. So, we are talking to that person or we are talking to that thing or object like it is standing or it is in front of us like it is listening to us but actually it is not listening to us we are just assuming it understood the definition Rahim. understood the yes. definition yes now see this everyone will like this example including me You should feel happy that you are getting to read this again. That also in 9th standard. So you know the whole rhyme. Twinkle, twinkle, little stars. How I wonder what you are. So why is this apostrophe? Do you know? Why have I taken this? Because this is an example of apostrophe. Because in this poem, if you remember, go go back years back, 
फ्लैश बैक में जाओ वेन यू सॉ दिस पोएम इन दैट बुक यू सॉ दैट द बॉय हु स्टैंडिंग एंड टॉकिंग टू द स्टार्स इज लुकिंग अप टू द स्टार्स एंड टॉकिंग टू द स्टार्स ट्विंकल ट्विंकल लिटल स्टार्स हाउ शुड आई वंडर हाउ आई वंडर दैट वॉट यू आर द बॉय इज टॉकिंग टू द स्टार्स बट इज इट पॉसिबल एक्चुअली दैट कैन वी टॉक टू स्टार्स नो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल समटाइम्स वी लुक एट द स्काय एंड वी टॉक टू द स्टार्स यस Sir, uh, astrophy means uh, we talk to a non-living thing. Uh, we think that they are listening, but it is not listening. Yes, we assume okay. that they are listening, and even okay. even the person. See, uh, yes, that is correct. But even you have to assume that the person who is dead, or the person who is alive but not in front of you, and you are behaving like the f- person is there in front of you, and you are talking to that person. That is also apostrophe. Okay, sir. So this you understood the example. Yes, sir. But in nursery, you did not know that it is a figure of speech, a must of it. Sir, we are born with the hum, dear. Yes, but what do you say? Uh, everything has a time. Every thing has a time. Yes, sir. My time will come. Time will come. Inshallah. So, the next is. Oh, death! We don't proud. Means you know, death. We say that death uh, is the bitter truth. Everyone has to face it. No one. Yes, sir. Uh, no one has uh, as an exemption. No one is um, exceptional. So, death is proud of itself. But can we talk to death? It is abstract. How can we yes, talk? Yes, sir. But still, we are talking that death. Please don't be proud of yourself. <laughs> so this is also example of apostrophe then you know when you are uh, working on a pc and sometimes it happens that it hangs it restarts and you are yes, fed up then you tell your computer oh don't oh, why don't you work you stupid computer but will the computer listen to you no so we get frustrated sometimes the phone it's, it hangs and we bang the phone it happens so yes sir that, it happens to me and yes many times and and one more, one more thing i'll i'll give you one uh, live example means which you might have felt when you are calling someone the twice you call him mm-hmm. or her twice thrice the person doesn't answer the call and while it is ringing you you just speak those words phone upar ne bhai right mm-hmm. like this kind of things we have we have uh, faced and that is also example of apostrophe the person has not received the call still you are saying that please receive the call how will he listen to you <laughs> so is the apostrophe clear yes sir these are the easy examples which i am taking so that you can understand the definition sir. but in the textbook it will be one level higher than this Sir, yes. We have to uh, learn all the twenty-six uh, that uh, figures of speech name. Yes, names you should know. Okay. Because in MCQ you should uh, be able to identify reading the sentence that this figure of speech is Sir, asked in question. the question. Hmm. Yes. Sir, in exam it will ask like that. That uh, which is figure number four? So we have to write apostrophe, or we can write anything. All. No, no, number is not important. That I have given. Okay, no problem. Only options will be given. Okay, sir. And during this corona, while talking to death, we can ask a question. Oh, death, have you no pity? Understood. Yes. Since it is coming in and taking the people in wholesale, metonymy. It is called metonymy. And the pronunciation. Sir, what is the meaning of F O S? Yes, I was going to ask you. Very easy it is. Which other? Which is the topic that ah, we are learning? Ah, whatever. Sit there, ask you. Yes. So in short. it is a valid short form so in this fos a thing is not yes it is 
not called by its original name but by the name of something closely related with that thing so when you are talking about something and you use the name of something which is related to it but you don't use the original name of that thing that is called metonymy kisi cheez ki baat kar rahe lekin wo cheez ka naam nahi lenge uske related jo cheez hai uska naam lenge that is called metonymy that is the definition yes okay it also means change of name here a name or word is used instead of another word very easy it is but remember the figure of speech which we are learning see the best example which you will get everywhere to read even on internet the pen is mightier than the sword i am sure that you might not understand the hidden meaning behind this sentence mightier means what first question is that is powerful more effective powerful. so how can the pen be mightier than the sword so I because with the pen we can write and give a message to the other person yes we But can is it sword more powerful we, we can, can kill a person it. But sir, with the pen we can uh, give uh, that to the person also. Okay, so I will explain that same thing. See, the pen is mightier than the sword. So the written words, the pen means written words. What is bigger of speech that we are learning is metonymy. So here, what is metonymy? What is the pen? the pen is used for written words pen means written words and the sword means the military power army power so the written words are more effective than the military power why because the military will conquer a place it will kill the person the kill the enemies but the pen means the written words like a book a motivational story which is written it can change the person from within so which is better killing a person or changing the person changing. which is more effective yes so definitely the pen is mightier than the sword the written words are more powerful than the military power but that was the meaning of the sentence metonymy kya hai wo samajh mein aaya the original name is not used but related name is used what is the original name actually the original name over is written words and here it is the military yeah. power so we have used related words sir yes. we use metonymy many times yes many many times in real life sir best example is in masti yes i wanted someone to speak this good you means you understood this Yes. Sir. Like uh, calling someone <laughs> by <laughs> parents' name, right? That, right? Mm. And uh, many other things. Yes, Akif. Your mic is on. It is unmuted. See, Chetan Bhagat is read by people of all age groups. Where is metonymy over here? Read. Chetan people will not read Chetan Bhagat. They will read his books, which he has written. So metonymy is instead of writing Chetan Bhagat's books name, we have written Chetan Bhagat. मतलब author का नाम लिख दिया उसकी book का नाम नहीं लिखा but the meaning is still clear. People read his books. People don't read him. How can you read a human being? you can understand him but you cannot read him so this is metonymy instead of writing the name of his book we have written his name chetan bhagat is read by people of all age groups we can also say shakespeare is read by people of all age groups like that author's name is given instead of his book book's name got it yes one more example of metonymy the white house has decided to crack down on terrorists 
what is metonymy now tell me over here but you should know what is white house where is Break it break down white house and white house mean america yes you know it is in america yes sir sure. and who sits over there sir this president. is the home of of yes, the president that the president yes the president was who is in power was there to the house Yes, so this is the metonymy. Instead of because the White House will not decide to crack down on terrorists, crack down means to attack. So White House is not living thing. The House will not decide that we should attack, but the person who is in charge, the person who is the authority inside the House, will decide and give the orders. So instead of writing the President, we have written the White House. The White House has decided. Means the President has decided. The meaning is still clear, right? Yes. But we are just putting the same thought in a different way. That is figure of speech. Who is the figure of speech? Ka kaam hai. Yes. So this is metonymy. Sir. I hope you got it. Yes. This is a um, little bit hard. This figure of. Hmm. Yes, but still the examples I have taken are of basic level, so you are getting it. Yes. Right? Don't worry, I'll not inject all the figures of speech at once. We'll take two or three lectures and then we'll complete. No problem. Take all twenty-six in one lecture. No, no. My video is also there. Later on, you can watch it. I have divided it in two parts. Part one and part two. Okay, thirteen, thirteen, whatever. No, I think I have divided it like ten uh, and sixteen. I'm not sure, but you'll watch it. Okay, sir. Any time, whenever in future you need it. Okay. Next is Sinek Duck. How do you pronounce? Sinek Duck. Sinek Duck. Some people call it Sinek Ducky, but it is not Ducky. Sinek Duck. And some people also silent. call it. Yes, some people also call it Sinek Duck, but it is Sinek Duck. Mm -hmm. So it is a part for whole or whole for part. Now, what is part? Part for whole. First, we'll I'll explain that. See, when whole guy, you part. yes, a big thing you're talking about. Uska ek chota sa part leke, wo puri chiz ko ab describe kare. That is called a part for whole. Suppose we are talking about a car. Car is a big machine, you can say. So, what is a small part like wheels? You want to describe that car with just with the word wheels instead of talking about car. I will use the word wheels. That is called. Part for the whole. Understood. Instead of talking about the whole human yes. being, I will talk about his hands only. But hands will not fly alone. Means the whole human being is there. But I am just talking about hands. So that is a part for whole. So now we'll see the example and you will understand. A part for whole. Two examples are there. See, I bought myself. A new set of wheels to travel to work every day. So what is what is the next duck over here? Vehicle. See, set of wheels. One set means two wheels, and set of wheels means four wheels, four wheeler. Yes. Instead of writing, I bought sir, myself a new car. Sir, two wheeler means car. Sir. Yes, it when is it a two wheeler and four wheeler. Sir, when it is described of two wheelers, so what will the word come? It will be same set of wheels. Okay. But instead of writing car over here, or instead of writing a two wheeler over here, here it can also be a moped, right? So instead of What's... writing that, instead of writing that car or moped, we have written this set of wheels. That's why it is called figure of speech. Hmm. And which figure of speech it is? Sinek duck. This is Sinek duck. Yes, sir. So a part for whole. Whole is car, and a part is wheel. Set of wheels. Yes. Sir. Then see, I have few mouths to feed at home. You will just feed the mouth, or you will feed the whole body. <laughs> So what does this mean? What is the whole thing? And we have taken apart for whole. Family.
members hmm. i have family yeah. members to I feed and i want to, to eat what so few mouths i have few mouths to feed at home means i have got family members for whom i have to work hard and earn money so that they could eat so instead of writing i have i have family members to feed at home or i have five family members we have written few mouths to feed at home so mouth is a part of body means it is a snack duck i can also say this see uh, one more example uh i want a helping hand to help me means what help i want some helping hands means i just don't want hands but i want the full body i want a human being so instead of that i'm saying i want a helping hand sometimes you might have heard people using this word do you need a helping hand means do you need an assistant a helper Yes, now understood. Yes, now the same figure of speech. The whole four part, मतलब एक छोटी सी चीज़ है उसका एक उसको उसका एक बड़ा part लेना है. That is a whole four part. See, India won the ICC World Cup in 2011. So what is over here? What is the whole thing? And we have taken only a small part. The whole four part. The part ICC is. ICC World Cup. only one thing we have to look over here india now did india win the world cup or did this players team of 11 players win the world cup yes yes so why why are we not writing that indian team won the world cup why are we writing india because there were many Actually, only indian team played and they won it No, only Indian team won this World Cup. No, sir, not the whole India, but the sir, victory I'm... belongs to the whole nation. We celebrate it. That victory belongs to all of us. So actually, the whole we are writing India, but India has a big population. But only eleven players played and won. So instead of writing Indian team, that small part we are not writing that eleven players. Instead of that, we are writing the country's name, India. That is a whole thing, the yeah. whole thing, India. For a part that is players. Now understood this? Yes, sir. One more. If you are feeling tired, hire extra hands for help. Sir, this is. Sir. What? This is uh, that uh, synac. Synac duck. Yes, this snack duck. Yes, you understood, no? Extra hands. Whole for a uh, part for whole. So this example, no? Human beings. Yes. Okay. So here it is. People. People. Understood. Yes, sir. Now very funny and very easy. Even uh, students, even uh, this, you know, some students who are uh, in primary, they also know this. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. What is it called? Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. Is the spelling so very easy? Funny word. Yes. Sir, who are mad this spelling? <laughs> Onomatopoeia. I will tell to very short the spelling. Yes. So onomatopoeia. In this figure of speech, the word suggests the actual sound of some object. It is a word which is which copies the sound of something. The original sound of the objects is called onomatopoeia. The original sound yes. of the object. right so you can say the sound of the words or the echo the meaning of the word or the echo the meaning of the word see buzz of bees and hiss of snake you can say yes sir the bees bees buzz and snake hiss 
Can you see the screen? Cat. Yes. Sir, we uh, in your that is number seven only. Yeah. Yes. Now come. Now come. Yes. See, bees make buzz sound when they fly. Yes, sir. Snake make hiss sound, but we should be aware at that time. <laughs> So this is a number to be here. The horn goes beep 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 sound of horn. The original sound. I hear the duck go quack 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 sound of duck. Sir, when do the you hear? Yeah. What? You said no. I hear. Sir, Where? in truck there is a song Sentence. of horn. Yeah, there is a song. So is it clear till you? Yes, sir. Clear. So we'll sir, continue. Sir, in eighth uh, standard, we had learned uh, one uh, figure of speech. Yes, I know that it was. Uh, I think alliteration. Yes, sir. Alliteration. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go learn further, watch the video or uh, try to read it. You will learn before mm -hmm. all others learn. Okay, sir. Inshallah. Okay, bye everyone. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye. Yes. Bye. Good morning, bye, sir. sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Yaman ta roll na mara na. What ge? Dekhliyo. Ma kadi boro ge ta kadi thiyo. Ah, bye. Hello, Musani.